Topic today, angle properties of polygon. Oh, polygon, what's a polygon? Have you forgotten about polygons? Do you remember them? Is that polygon? Are you in the dark world of polygons? What's that formula that to find interior and exterior angles? Oops, can't see, can't feel, don't know what it is. Yep, I know, because when I teach my students and I ask them, Oh, teacher, forgotten, do not know. That's what we call this dark world, although this is UV light protected. Good to wear sunglasses when you're out in the sun. Protect your eyes, otherwise you get cataract. But at the same time, do not live in this dark world, away from polygons. Because polygons, any figure that has more than three, two lines, you call that a polygon. A two lines joined together is a polygon. Whether it's a regular two lines put together with a third line, I'm sorry, a three-sided figure is called a polygon. The sum of interior angles of a polygon is called N. How do you find the formula? N. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, forgotten? All right. Forgot. I know I was trying to introduce you. All right. Get and forget. Let's look at this. Getting the, the input from your teachers and forgetting. Worse still, look at this. Give and forgive. I just want to bring up this teaching a little while before I go in on the topic of forgetting. Now, many of us tend to get and then we forget. And what do you get from your parents? You get lots of support, financial support from your parents. And then when you grow up, you forget mommy, daddy, what they did for God. All right? And then you're on your parents' end, they give. <clears throat> and whatever mistakes you make, they forgive. They give and they forgive and they give and they forgive. And then meanwhile, you get and you forget and you get and you forget. That's what I meant. Ah, not good. My dear sons and daughters, we want you to learn a very important value. Learn to shift your gear from here to here, like what your parents do. Give and forgive. When you grow older, you are going to give and learn to forgive some of the things that you are not very happy. And not only that, extend this practice Give and forgive to your fellow friends. Alright? And also, forgetting. I, 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 I don't like it. I don't like you forgetting your formula, some of you. But some of you do remember. Yep, let's move up from character development. Back to focus here. The sum of interior angles is equal to... Sum of interior angles is equal to N minus 2 times 180 degrees. How do you remember it? When your n is 3, n is what? The number of sides. When your n is 3, 3 take away 2, what do you get? 1. 1 times 180 is 180. That's the sum of interior angles, alright, of a triangle. You always test the formula. Sometimes some of you are not very sure and you go and put other formulas like 2n minus 4. Teacher, my formula is 2n minus 4 times 180. Oh, is it true? It should be, this should, it should have actually been 90 degrees. But maybe you forgot and you write this. And then you put n as 3 and test it. 6, 6 degree 4. You get 2. 2 times 180, 360. Oops, oops, that's not the sum of a triangle. So you know, ah, change this to 90. N is 3, 3 sides, 6 thick with 4, 2, 2 times 90, 180 degrees. That is the other formula, the same thing, all right? Or 2N minus 4 times 90 degrees. There is no big difference. If I take out the 2 out, you can see that I get N minus 2 times 90. And what is 2 times 90? 180. They are all the same. How about the sum of exterior angles of a polygon? The sum of exterior angles will be always irrespective, all right, of the number of sides. It's always 360 degrees. Now, if you have N sides, N, all right, let's say we have 
n sides like three sides and if it's a regular polygon in a regular polygon all the interior angles each am I equal and the length of each side is also equal so three exterior angles is 360 if it's a triangle and one exterior angle will be 120 degrees now similarly if it is uh, this is the exterior angle of a triangle if it is triangle interior angle let's look at it you got three interior angles and this three interior angles is 3 minus 2 1 1 times 180 is 180 so one interior angle when you divide it by 3 you get 60 degrees and you find that the interior plus the exterior always because it becomes a straight line and when you add them up you will see that it's always 180 degrees whether it's a regular or an irregular polygon when you say the word regular it means that all the sides are equal all right and all the interior angles are equal and all the exterior angles are equal for that regular polygon now just a quick revision a four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral five-sided pentagon yep a quad okay a quadrilateral five-sided pentagon a six-sided hexagon all right and a seven-sided okay a seven-sided is called a heptagon yep a heptagon and an eight-sided is called an octagon octagon a nine-sided is called a nonagon, all right, a nonagon, and a ten-sided a decagon, all right. Now, so just remember these names roughly, all right, to, for your for your added information, and never forget what you get. You learn to give back, all right. Okay, remember, give and forgive as character development. Get and never forget, all right. So this is my message to you for character development for today, all right? But let's go back to again maths again. Let's look at the sum again. Now you've got this formula, and if you have n sides, there will be n interior angles, and n interior angles. I put n times i. Let each interior angle be i. If it's a regular polygon, they are all equal in size. And n interior angles equals to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. What is one interior angle gonna be? n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. You get the formula. So take note of the formulas. Don't have to study it like a nerd, but understand the formula. If the n has two sides, look at it again 2 minus 2, you get 0. 0 times 180 degrees, nothing. Because two sides will form a what? A straight line. And do you have any interior angles? Is that called a polygon? No. You look at it, if you put one side, you can you form a polygon? No. So that clearly verifies this whole formula. All right, now here, they have a regular pentagon. And all they ask of you, they said, hey, pentagon has how many sides? Five sides. And they want to find the size of each of its exterior angle and the interior angle. Now, can you tell me there are five sides? Five exterior angles will be equal to 360 degrees. So what is each exterior angle going to be? 360 divided by 5. Alright? So when you divide by 5, you get it to be 72 degrees. Ooh la la! Now, as for the interior angle, it's very easily derived. Exterior plus interior is 180 degrees. So what will the interior angle then be? 180 minus 72. You get 108 degrees. That's your interior angle, right? They're all of the same size. This is one method of doing it. What about another method? Okay, method two for interior angle. The interior angle is equals to the sum of interior angles times 180 and interior angles and it's got five interior angles. 
All right. So you want to find out what is one interior angle. You just put here five minus two, which is three times hundred eighty divided by five. All right. Five interior angles, and that's the sum. You divide it by five. You can get three and thirty six times three is a hundred and eight degrees. The same. All right. Why not we do directly, very fast? Okay. Now when we said this is a little bit long-winded, but nothing to fear. Look for shortcuts, or if you want to go by whichever way you're comfortable, fine. Now they say that this in polygon eh, A B C D E, A B and D E are produced to meet at F, and they want to calculate the angle A F E. And what's the name of this quadrilateral B C E F? All right, let's take up the space here. Five-sided polygon. A, it may not be very, uh, it doesn't look accurate, but don't worry. I mean, this is, we are not doing by construction, but we are doing by logical reasoning and using the formula. So let's look at it. We have A, <coughs> A B, C, D, and E. All right. And they tell us that A, B, and D, E are produced. So let's produce them. A, B, and D, E are produced, and they meet at this point called F. <clears throat> All right. They want to find out the angle A, F, E. This angle. What is this angle? Angle sum. We found out that the interior angle. <coughs> excuse me. My throat isn't good, but not that I had wine. Not that I had. I had a lot of rambutans. It's a seasonal fruit, and my girlfriend, such a sweet girl, the giver, she gave me lots of rambutans, and it's quite heaty. They call it the yin and the yang, and you see, it's irritating my throat. Kuma, yeah, learn to eat right. Yeah, but rambutans are fruits; they're good for you. Hmm. Please take care. They're sweet, and it's not good. So good for elderly, if you're diabetic. Oh. So rambutans are sweet, lots of sugar, and if you have sugar in you, do not eat them much. Just few pieces. Well, I took a bunch of them. That's what we call greediness. Ah, oh. <laughs> all right. Let's get back here. You look at this interior angle. There's a hundred and eight degrees. Each of them is a hundred and eight degrees. And then we've got the exterior angle here. The exterior angle is a seventy-two degree, and here's a seventy-two degree. So, what is this angle going to be? You can see that at once this is an isosceles triangle. This exterior exterior angle of this pentagon. So, A F E, all right. An angle sum of a polygon is always a hundred and eighty degrees. So here you get a hundred and eighty minus seventy-two times two. All right, which is one four four. So what do you get? You get a thirty six degrees. A hundred eighty minus. I put it a hundred eighty minus one four four. Hundred take away hundred gone. Hundred eighty take away one four four. Now we look at eighty degrees minus forty four. Play your fingers minus forty and chop off your four from here. You get a thirty and a six. So that's how you get a thirty six degrees. There's angle A F. E, and they want you to tell us what is B C E F. B C E F. They want us to describe what sort of chord it is. B C E F. I'm going to draw this here. They want to find out what sort of chord it is. B C E F. Now, if I join these two lines, all right. Look at it very carefully. If I when I said a quadrilateral, what sort of quads can we have? We can have a rectangle, a square, a rhombus, a trapezium, a parallelogram, or it can be just an irregular quad. All right, where all the four sides are all different in length. They're not parallel. They're not equal in length. Whatever. So let's look at it and make a quick clearance. If it's going to be a trapezium, what must you determine? A trapezium has two sides that are parallel, all right, and do not worry about the other two sides. But how do you show they're parallel? 
we can show that the interior opposite angles add up to 180. You can show that way. So we know that this is 108 degrees. 108 degrees. These two sides are equal, right? Because it's a regular pentagon. And what will this angle be? Let's work that out. This angle is 180 minus 108 divided by 2, right? Because they are base angles of isosceles triangle. So if you look at it, 180 minus 108, you get a 72. Divide by 2, you get a 36. And the same angle here, this is also 36 degrees. If this is 36 degrees, now the next thing we need to look and we said, hey, what will this angle be? All of you look. Now this whole angle is 180. You take away 36. One, sorry, 108, sorry, this interior angle. You minus 36. 108 minus 36. What do you get? You get a 2, you get a 72 degrees. So I like to make it less confusing. Alright, take that off. And I said, hey you, you are 36 degrees and you are 108. So your angle here is 72 degrees. Don't these two add to give you 180? Yeah. They give you interior opposite angles. So this is also 108. Alright, you look at this. This is, is an angle of a pentagon, interior angle. This 36, this whole angle here is 108. This is 36. So this angle here is 72 degrees. You see, you have interior opposite angles. And they want the figure B, C, E, F. This whole figure here, B, C, E, F. All right, B, C, E, F. You look at these two figures, you can see that these two make, make up 180, interior opposite. And if you look at this here, 72 and 72, you get 144. And this angle is 36, 36. This whole angle is 144. 144 plus 36 is also 180. Interior opposite, interior opposite. Therefore, these lines are parallel. All right, I'm just teaching you because I don't have space on the board, but I hope you can be clear. BF is parallel to CE. And they're parallel, you show them parallel because the interior opposite angles give you 180 degrees. So what's the shape, my dear? All right, take note, trapezium. Therefore, all right, this should be therefore. They're parallel, hence you got one set of parallel lines and that makes it a trapezium. Now, Matsukuma, polygons, all right? I'm taking you two from sec one, if you've learned that, all right? I don't know what they say in, in other countries, grade, grade five, grade six, grade seven, polygons. And I'm gonna bring you through and towards the later part, it may be a little bit challenging, like what you always do with me, and then we shine. All right, this is start. Remember, never to forget, Learn to give, yes, and forgive. And what is it more important in maths? Never forget your formulas. We don't want you to be in this dark world, not able to see anything, the concept of maths. I like you to be clear. Good to protect your eyes, but when I talk about the dark world, I don't know how to enact the scene of darkness. But I want to show you, do not be in the dark world of maths. Polygons are there. You need to master them. See you. Hi.